Legends are formed in the crucible of necessity. The tools of war evolve, adapt, and sometimes transcend. Switzerland, narrowingly untouched by World War II, was determined that they would be ready for anything that comes to their doorstep. And with the Cold War on the rise, the sidearm that would ensure Swiss neutrality and later take the world by storm was none other than the Sig Sauer P220. Hell had spared Switzerland. The Second World War had concluded, and by the absolute grace of God, the Swiss people were not dragged into the raging war that surrounded them. Could it have been their traditional stance of neutrality? Their vital financial services used by both allies and Axis? Or was the terrain of their home just so hostile to any invading force that doing so would be a nightmare? Regardless of what saved them from the fate of so many surrounding countries, the Swiss people decided to never gamble their nation's preparedness again. The Swiss government would greenlight the mass mobilization to build up a modern fighting military to defend their people and their borders. The Swiss military would begin changing their doctrine to a mobile defense strategy, aiming to slow down any advancing enemy by any means necessary. Ambush and demolition tactics combined with garrisons and aerial defenses throughout the mountains became central to military planning and staging. SIG would begin designing new weapons to replace their aging designs that they used in World War I and clutched to during World War II. The K-31 carbine would be superseded by the new STGW-57, or the SIG SG-510. And the SIG P-210 was on the choppy block to be replaced by a new service pistol. SIG would begin extensive research and development to design a pistol that would perform reliably in any environment, including the hostile terrain within the mountains of their home. SIG designers would conclude the development of the new pistol in 1975 with the SIG P-220. Its bomb-proof reliability made it an overnight success in Switzerland, as the Swiss Army adopted it as its new service pistol later that year. SIG knew that this would be a very successful design, and expressed interest to export this pistol to the world. But due to the neutral stance the Swiss government wanted to maintain, SIG was barred from directly exporting the P220. In the following year of 1976, SIG would purchase J.P. Sauronsson, a major firearms manufacturer based out of West Germany, to begin producing the P220 for international export. Their partnership would form the Sig Sauer brand, and the German factory would begin shipping the P220 around the world. Browning would begin to import the P220 in 1977 as the Browning BDA-45 ACP, and would continue to do so until 1980, when they would be sold under its original name. In 1983, Sig Sauer would catch wind of the XM9 trials being held by the Department of Defense to replace the M1911. Six Hour would modify the P220 to meet the requirements of the trials, creating the P226. The P226 would perform favorably in the trials, being equal or even slightly superior to the Beretta 92F, but would only lose out to the Beretta coming in at a cheaper price. The P226 would later be adopted in the 1980s by the Navy SEALs as their Mark 25 after their stellar testing conducted by the German Kampfschwemme Special Operations Division. The P226's little brother, the P228, would also be adopted by the United States Armed Forces as the M11. The Sig Sauer P220 is more than just a sidearm, it's a testament to Swiss ingenuity and resilience. Its journey from the mountains of Switzerland to the hands of military and law enforcement alike, it is a story of precision engineering and relentless reliability. Legends, after all, are not born, they are made. The Sig Sauer P220 is a legend that was carefully crafted, tested by time, and proven in the most demanding conditions. The P220 and its legacy endures, not only as a piece of military history, but as a standard of excellence in the world of firearms.